Today we're testing uh, the vehicle dynamics and handling. We're comparing our model against what we can measure in real life. Uh, the primary things we're trying to understand today are the pitch gradient and the roll gradient of the car. So how does it respond when you step on the brakes or when you accelerate? And how does it respond when you're going through a corner experiencing lateral G's? So as you can tell, <laughs> Beta is uh, stripped down to the bare essential components. Um, this was done so that we could test exactly what we wanted to test um, with the vehicle dynamics properties uh, compared to Alphas where they had all of the cosmetic features as a real vehicle would have. We've done a multitude of tests, including some cornering tests, going from slower to faster and faster speeds. Uh, Aptair has been handling great. We're collecting lots of data, uh, and we're gonna be able to correlate that to our simulations. And that way, we can really move forward very quickly with making tweaks in the computer, and then we can apply them in real life and end up with a much better vehicle much faster. The testing for beta is so important because it helps us to validate our model that we've been, we've been analyzing it in atoms for months now, yet we've not been able to put it into practice and actually feel the car and what the simulation says it should do versus what it's actually doing. So this is extremely important for us because we, we have this model that we're building our next vehicle off of as well, and we need to validate it to ensure that it's actually performing like we expect it to. So for acceleration, we are looking at the max power output of our vehicle. And then with braking, we are looking at how much the vehicle dives forward um, so we can tune it for passenger comfort. Um, and then with the high speed stability, we want to make sure that uh, at high speeds, our vehicle is as safe as possible. So with the ISO double lane change, that is also a safety test to make sure that whatever emergency maneuvers are necessary, uh, the vehicle can handle. We've seen massive improvements in our suspension and how the vehicle handles so far. The uh, one thing we've noticed already is that the car is actually more stable in lateral corners, yet it has higher lateral grip than the previous cars had as well. So making step change improvements on the suspension is great.